anxiety. Of what? Flying. Yeah, conquer that. Right. We interrupt. Right, exactly. Now he has to relearn how to manage. Yeah, exactly. That's just like with Little Richard. Mm -hmm. When he first got saved, you guys remember that when he converted and, and uh, he, uh, <laughs> he stopped being all flamboyant and stuff. He was manly, a deep voice, you know was what I'm saying? Yeah. Just really like both. Wow, you I never saw that. Makeup I never saw that. Nah, he wasn't supposed to go back and you know, sing anymore or anything like that in the world, but as soon as he took that world of contract again, Tarked he him up. right yeah. back up to that same spirit, yeah. and now he all out there again. But it's the it's same dead. thing, but he beat, yeah. He alive, Steve? I don't know if he's still alive or not. I think he alive. Yeah. He's still I alive? Remember, I remember that. Way. I don't remember when he came on. He got a different feel. He got money. He got this the pride of life and all that. Pulled him right back. He took the Jerry Curl out too? Why? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just like um, Jerry Curl. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 She, they snatched her back in and she was looking awful. Yeah. They just they just put her in prison. Yeah, for tax Yeah. Just put her in prison. Mental hospital, too. They said, hey, you want me to put it up? Yeah, see, they might not even reach the Talk against the government. Right. So they put her in. But I want to play this next clip to show you, like, B mentioned. I mean, even, I mean, I'm going to tell you this. Even as a, uh, I mean, not as, as extreme as being homosexual, but when you come into, you know, the understanding of the truth, a lot of times you have to learn how to play your position as a man and as a woman. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of things that, that you may have done in the past as a man or a woman. Not, you know, like I said, not to the extreme of being homosexual, but it could have been as far as like you just really don't know how to play a role as a man or know how to play a role as a woman as far as being ahead or as far as being submissive that you have to the same thing you have to learn it. Right. The same thing you have to learn it. Yeah I wanna I wanna play this next clip in regards to this war. It shows the war. You know what I'm saying? Like this brother then publicly claim out came out and said, yo, I'm renouncing this homosexuality. I'm trying to follow the truth. Not only is he dropping that, but he didn't came to the, the understanding of who he is. And that, that's a key right there. But what TMZ, B mentioned earlier that TMZ was at first giving him props. They wouldn't even let me download like the, the audio and video together. So I'm going to just play the audio. But check out the clip that came from off of TMZ, how they mocked him. How Satan is known in scripture also as the prince of the power of the air. So he knows, he, he manipulates all this technology, all the media systems in order for, to, to bring forth his agenda. But let's check out what they did to him on TMZ. This program for the most shocking news ever. Antoine Dodson, that famous YouTube star who said, Had your kids, had your wife, and had your husband because they raping everybody out here. Has come out as straight. Wait a second. What about this? The first thing I bought was a Gucci bag. And this. Hey, shut up. And oh yeah, this. I'm openly gay. I think people knew that about one second into your video. Okay, we're confused. And it sounds like Antoine is too. He has made a very important announcement. He is no longer gay. Yes, hide your vaginas and your boobies, because Antoine Dodson has announced he's officially switching teams. Then he says yeah. that he is now going to be focused on a wife, a family, his focus on God. He needs God, so he's now straight. Okay, here's the deal. Antoine is now a Hebrew Israelite. You know, those really angry-looking black guys with the signs? And apparently they don't take too well to homosexuality. God is against gays. The most high is going to destroy every lesbian in America. Lovely. So Antoine has renounced himself, saying, quote, I don't need a Mercedes Benz. I don't need a big house in Beverly Hills. All I need is the most high. We now go to Antoine's most high for comment. Hey, Cher, how are you? She is divine. It's become like the popular thing. You come out, you get a lot of attention. He's now doing the opposite of it. Going in. He's still going in a bunch of guys. To show you what, when he made that, that statement and said, well, now we want to show you his most high, they show Cher, man. They completely mocked the Most High with that. You know what I'm saying? Showing you that they, 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 these people pride is going to get them flamed quickly. Pride of life. Exactly. I the true pride wait. of life. Has pants, too. As much as he wants to uh, say he's not. He had a bad experience or something. Welcome to the club. <laughs> what happened? Okay, let's.
let's save that for another time. So to wrap it up, the Most High is telling Antoine to not be gay anymore. And that's the bottom line. Speaking of bottoms, thanks Antoine! Interrupt this program for the most shocking news ever. That was on. I'll say something about Jason Collins. I had a chance to, to talk to him yesterday. Uh, that was that, that. They ran that on TMZ. Now the, the interesting thing, the reason why I brought this out as an example, is that same week that this brother right here was coming out and saying, "Yo, I'm renouncing this wickedness. I'm turning to the Most High's righteousness." Right. That very same week, they brought the faggot out uh, in the NBA and promoted them wholesale which is Jason Collins, the first openly gay in the NBA. That very same week, which shows you that that war is like this. It happened, the Jason Collins thing happened first, I think. It happened first. It did hit the news first, the news rather, you know what I'm saying? And then hit the Most High coming through, slaying, and brought, once again, one of the fruitiest brothers in our nation out and cleaning him up. So showing you that the Most High is making war as well. The irony. And now they got that that that, that female Brittany right. Griner, that, that yeah. six eight yeah. basketball woman basketball player who's also coming out yeah. openly gay. As if we didn't know that ninety five percent of them is that way anyway. Right. But it's just showing you that the war is escalating. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, that's where it's headed. But let's sing it. Let's see what the the chief of America had to say about Mr. Collins. Now, mind you. They ran Mr. Antoine Dyson through the ringer. They mocked him and all that. Mocked him most high, left and right. But check out what they did with their president right here. Joe. Anybody voted for this cat in this room? I did, I'm not going to lie, but I wish I didn't. You didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. As long as you say you, you know you better. Huh? Yeah, you want to. I voted for him. He voted for him. He voted for him the second time. He knew the truth. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with him? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, take a look at what they ran across the nation and probably the world right here. You need a dial song? I mean, probably, you know, any of the biggest screen in the world. So. Ready? I'm about Jason Collins. I had a chance to, to talk to him yesterday. Uh, this, it seems like a terrific young man. And... Uh, yeah, I told him I couldn't be proud of uh, you know, One of the e e extraordinary uh, measures of progress that we've seen in this country uh, has been uh, the recognition that uh, the LGBT community deserves uh, full equality, not just partial equality, uh, not just uh, tolerance, but uh, a recognition that they're fully a part of the American family. Uh, and you know, given the importance of sports in our society, uh, for uh, an individual who, who's excelled at the highest levels in one of the major sports to go ahead and say, this is who I am, I'm proud of it, uh, I'm still a great competitor, uh, I'm still seven foot tall and can bang with Shaq and, and you know, deliver a hard fight. Uh, and, uh, you know, for, for I think a, a lot of uh, young people out there uh, who, uh, you know, are, are, are you know, gay or lesbian who are struggling with these issues to see a role model like that who's uh, unafraid, I think it's a great thing. And I think America should be proud of uh, that this is just one more step uh, in this uh, ongoing recognition that we treat everybody fairly. And everybody's part of a, part of a family. Uh, and we judge people on the basis of their character uh, and their performance uh, and not their sexual orientation. So I'm very proud of them. All right? We interrupt this program for the most shocking news ever. If he do that on camera, what should they do on camera? That's what I'm saying. So once again, that goes to show. They all, all of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. Don't you gotta understand? When you understand about like that, uh, that whole all that satanic stuff, man. Like a lot of those guys that's higher ups in like uh, in the, in the so-called entertainment industry. That's one of the things that they feel like gives them power is, you know, sodomizing the man.
that's that's serious. Mm-hmm. That's all the way back from the Greeks right, to the Romans. The Romans. Mm-hmm. That was one of their chief things. If I can do this now, I got complete power. Mm-hmm. I done messed with so many women that don't even do nothing for me. Now I go after the men and conquer them. And what we read in Luke, where it says, "If you bow down and worship me, all this power I will give you." That's one of the things right there. Exactly. You know me. So don't, don't be shocked, man. All them, all them guys that's in the industry that right. they get and then got to a certain level. They Especially the, the minute they put on the dress, it's over. Mm-hmm. Singing, singing out here, we went to uh, Motown, and they had a. Uh, Told us this gonna give us a contract. Same form, but they told us uh, the guy that was talking to us told us one thing happened. Uh, we had to be willing to do anything. So he said, "What is anything?" He said, "Well, some of you might have to turn some tricks." So you know, it was, it was three guys, four guys, and one girl. So, uh, we think, well, hey, you know, women ain't big deal. Yeah, cool. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. Barry Gordy, brother. <laughs> Barry Gordy gonna want to see you. Straight up, you might have to trust the tricks of some men. Exactly. We all, all the fellas dropped. The one person decided to go along with was, was one. Wow. Yeah. And, I, and I, I've actually, like, a few different people that I was friends with, like, on Facebook that said that they reached a certain level in the industry, said the same thing. They was approached, like, look, if you want to go to that next level, that's what you got to do. That's why Cat Williams said he'd be going to those matching parties. Right. And he just busts in the room and it be somebody in there like, it's Professor Ogilvy. Oh, I, I, I walked in the wrong room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. But that, that really, it goes back to the fact that we have war. And a lot of these celebrities, all the way down the line, is people that are, are, are we came up looking up at, you know what I'm saying, our children, just like. Mr. Barack Obama said, yeah, this, this dude's a role model, you know, so for the young youth that's gay, right. they can come up and be, pro- you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, this is the war that's being aimed at us, you know what I'm saying? The children. Exactly. They're trying to get to the full fire roll so they can say, yeah, I was born this way, so it's fine. Exactly. You know so they coming up filled with iniquity, you know what I'm saying? But now you can now you can begin to understand that, that scripture, Zechariah, when it says that two-thirds of our people, now you can see how, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because of that war that's Straight against us. All right. it's, it's all an attack. Like, you have to understand, too, TMZ itself, they aim their show at a certain demographic, right? Yep. And you have to understand that it's all an attack on, on, the, on the young folks. Because if you have you have two total, you know, total opposite ends of the spectrum, you got Jason Collins, who was... You know, an NBA player, and he played basketball, and he was popular, and he went to, you know, a Stanford, and he was smart and all these things, and he came out and said, you know, I'm gay, and I'm proud to be gay, and this is who I am. Don't be afraid to be who you are. And this is an attack on our youth, you know what I mean? Um, and then you have Antoine Dotson who came out and said, you know what, I'm renouncing the fact that I used to be gay. And what they do is they discredit him. Exactly. And the first thing you do when you discredit somebody is you attack their character. So, you know, yeah, he's saying he's one of these guys. You know, the angry black guys that stand on the corner with the signs that say this. So, you you know, everything they did it's was to totally, attack. yeah, to discredit, to, to defame his character and to totally discredit him. So that when the same thing, when the youth see him, they be like, oh, that's that crazy guy who, he one of them crazy people now, you know what I mean? And it's looked at totally like it's off. It's like a two-edged sword. Because exactly. like you said, like now, you know what I'm saying, they doing that. So when they see us on the corners with our boards and our Bibles saying this same thing, the youth going to be like, that's, like you said, that's them crazy guys right there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And even if they don't, if you don't know anything about it, you just, oh, yeah, I heard about y'all. And of course, when you Google Hebrew Israel, like the first thing you see is, GMS, ISUPK, and these cats, really GMS, the cats landing on the corner, I'm talking about nothing but hate, nothing but hate, I mean, not just hate for, uh, you know, other races, not just hate for homosexuals, I'm talking about hate Hate for our own own women, you know, just nothing but hate, hate, ah, it's horrible. But that's how you know they, yeah, that's what you see, that's what people see. They know the most real, because for them to, for them to even support that, but if you straight, they don't support that. That's how you know they know the most. It's, I'm not it's, with it. It's completely backwards. Like, it's like this, this, the, and even Antoine Dotson said, I watched one of his um, videos where he was like, how can this guy be 
you know, support it and be, you know, they proud of him for coming out and says that, saying that he's homosexual. But I come out and say that I'm straight, that I want to be straight, that I want to be with a woman, and I want this and that. And, and they, you know, and you atta he gets and they attacked. attacked. So, so at one moment, it was, they yeah. praise you. They put right. you on TV, oh, you're a celebrity. Now you want to come out and do the right thing while well, we're going to attack exactly. that. Yeah, he must have had a little bit of the most hard wish moment because most back. people wouldn't even have seen that, man, because... Brother, for that, brother, that's what I say, man. For that, the most I use one of the, I mean, you, you know, you don't get no more fruitier than that, cat. For real. I mean, seriously. It, it really doesn't get worse than that. And the most I took him as an example. And that right there should instill some fire in us. Like, man, the most I can take the bases, man, and turn it around and represent him in this earth, man. Because this is a war. This is a real war we in, man. A lot of our people is falling casualty. Majorly. You know what I'm saying? We got to be... Cats that's been in this for, for years, years. exactly. For years. Asian, for some of them is the main ones, right? Because you know when you in something for so long and, and things don't move at a pace you feel like they should move at, right. you get complacent. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean. You get complacent and you you know you tend to fall off because it's it's kind of like it was trendy at the time. You know what I'm saying? It's a fad, but with people that's in it and been in it for years, it becomes a way of life for them. It's nothing else. What else? Exactly. What can you see? Can you see yourself turning away from this and going into something else? I can't see myself doing nothing else. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but it's happening. It happened. You know what I'm right. saying? Like I, that's why I mentioned. Didn't really, not to put it out there like that. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't have people amongst right. us, man, that it didn't happen to. You know what I'm saying? That I see it. And, it's, it's on Facebook. and to touch on that, the the reason that 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 happens is because just like what we were just talking about, you got people diving all into these other books. And dealing with these different testaments of this and assumption of that and these apocryphal books. And they don't have a strong foundation in the scriptures. They don't have a strong enough foundation here to be able to dive off into this other book. To be able to assess if this book is legitimate or not. You know what I mean? How can you, how can you step off into something else when you have no foundation? So anything that sounds good when you have nothing to compare it to is just going to sound good and it's going to pull you. Exactly. Especially just, if it supports the flesh aspect. Why? Right. That's the big one. If you can't keep the Shabbat and this book say that it's all right to break it because you in captivity anyway. Oh, that's that's perfect for oh, me. So I'm running with it. That's what's happening. You reason you try to you like you like you said, you reason around it because it's comfortable. You know, something else is comfortable. It's, it's uncomfortable to shut my life down for a whole 24-hour period and just rest. That's uncomfortable for certain people. Yeah, it's uncomfortable to not be able to go to the store when I want to go to the store. It's uncomfortable to not, you know, fix, the, fix a meal when I want. You know, it's, it's Saturday. You know what I mean? It's Friday night, you know? And it's uncomfortable, but, you know... But when something suits you and it's and you can oh if we can reason your way around it well it's not really this it's kind of that and you know and people that do that people do that all the time minute. yeah you'll trick yourself you out of sit there for hours what like, about man, this book I could do it this what way what about this one I mean you see it all the time just like if it was this one particular sister that contacted me contacted Quab contacted Dean contacted all of us asking us this one particular question. Asked us all the same question, and we talked about it one time. Like, yeah, yeah, I talked to her too. I talked to her too, and we all gave her the same answer. And she just kept contacting the next person, the next person, the next person until somebody told her what she wanted to hear, not what was what what was right. To somebody told her what she wanted to hear, and she took that one person, their opinion over. These four or five brothers that told her what the book say. That's how people do a precept. Yeah, like absolutely. Precept, 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 You're going to keep it. Like, oh. and, and it's crazy. It's crazy. You, But, you know, that's what people do. Like I said, when it's, it's, un, it's not comfortable for them. You know, and they're not willing to, to, to change who they think they are to be what the most high wants you to be. Right. So let's finish this out. Let's go. Let's check out our weapons to engage in this war and to win this war. Let's go back to Ephesians 6.